I'm getting big. This is our update. Look at how big I'm getting and how alive I am. And it's time for my food, mommy. It's breakfast time. Doesn't like the light though. Guys, say hello. <laughs> um, I posted some of the progress of my little pigeon baby, which we have decided to call Squeak. On one of the pigeon groups on Facebook and I mean I wasn't expecting um, the comment that I got kind of upset me telling me that using the F word multiple times and telling me that nature does not need my help without even knowing what the circumstances was around this baby because I did leave him this is not the first baby that has fallen out of that specific nest because like I said it's an awkward spot so I always leave the babies there so the parents can just come and raise them so I showed her your baby is still alive and left the baby there but by nine o'clock that night and it was cold she hasn't come to feed this baby so he hasn't eaten anything and it was basically going to freeze to death I mean, um, his eyes were still closed, so he needs to be hot all the time. So I thought I would just include in this video that I did not snatch the baby from his nest or anything like that. And I did leave him there for the mom to look after him. Had I not taken him, he probably would have died. And as you guys can see, he's doing just fine. It's not the first pigeon that I have raised. But he was the youngest that I've ever raised. So, um, just for the guys of you out there that might want to know, um, any baby bird needs to be warm before they're fed. Their feed needs to be warm. Just think of it that they would usually get their feed from their parents' crops. So, it has to be at least body temperature for it to be safe. The crops have to be empty before feeding them again. Otherwise, the feed will just rot in their crops and they'll die. And then baby birds needs to be kept warm. So pigeons have a varied diet, but mostly grains. The feed that I give this baby is specially formulated. I bought it from the pet store for hand rearing pigeons, doves, and so forth and you can also use that to enrich your caged birds um, to fortify their meals with some vitamins um, some babies other kinds of birds don't eat grain based foods they eat worms and you can usually get at the pet shops you can get these little meal worms and you can feed them that so I just thought I might respond to, I doubt very much that this person will even see this video, but to anybody else that maybe had the same kind of thoughts, um, this is just a response to that. Um, I also recommend leaving babies so that the parents will come and take care of them, even if they fell out of the nest. Most of the time, if they're not in direct danger of being eaten by cats, or anything else it's best to just leave them where they are but like I said this one was busy basically busy dying the sibling died instantly when he flew out of or when he was blown out of the nest so the mother did not bother with this one and the other problem was since his eyes wasn't open yet the mother still had to sit on him to keep him warm and the spot that I have obviously is not in a ceiling or in a roof so uh, and i've got a dog it was just safer to bring him inside but anyway as you guys can see he's doing just fine <laughs> no fire i know yeah i don't like the light look at him he's oh almost all grown up with how big he's getting oh my baby Mommy's baby. Okay, mommy, now you're hungry. 
Oh, mommy, no, you're so hungry, puppy. Look at him opening with the wait. Where's the little pig? Come. Come, puppy. Take a look at this. <laughs> Thank you.